Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Lawrence Kohlberg adopted and built on Piaget's work and set the groundwork for the present debate within psychology on moral development. Like Piaget, he believed that children form ways of thinking through their experiences which include understandings of moral concepts like justice, rights, equality, and human welfare. Kohlberg followed the development of moral judgment and extended the ages covered by Piaget and found out that the process of attaining moral maturity took longer and occurred slower than Piaget had thought. If Piaget designed specific tasks to learn about the cognitive development of children, Kohlberg utilized moral dilemmas. Here are the levels and stages of moral development according to Kohlberg's theory. First is pre-conventional level. Moral reasoning is based on the consequence or result of the act, not on the whether the act itself is good or bad. The stages are Stage 1. Punishment or obedience Stage 2. Mutual benefit Second level is conventional. Moral reasoning is based on the conventions or norms of society. This may include approval of others, law, and order. Here are the stages. Stage 3. Social approval Stage 4. Law and order the third level is post-conventional. Moral reasoning is based on enduring or consistent principles. It is not just recognizing the law, but the principles behind the law. Here are the stages. Stage 5, Social Contract. And Stage 6, Universal Principles. Stage 1, Punishment or Obedience. One is motivated by fear of punishment. He will act in order to avoid punishment. Stage 2, Mutual Benefit. One is motivated to act by the benefit that one may obtain later. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Stage 3 is social approval. One is motivated by what others expect in behavior, like good boy or good girl. The person acts because he or she values how he or she will appear to others. He or she gives importance on what people will think or say. Stage 4 is law and order. One is motivated to act in order to uphold law and order. The person will follow the law because it is the law. Stage 5 is social contract. Laws that are wrong can be changed. One will act based on social justice and the common good. And finally, stage 6, universal principles. This is associated with the development of one's conscience, having a set of standards that drives one to possess more responsibility to make societal changes regardless of consequences to oneself. Examples of persons are Mother Teresa or Martin Luther King Jr.